Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a full body pregnancy Pilates class. This is day four if you're participating in my pregnancy workout challenge. However, you can also do this as a standalone video as well. I will use a birth ball or a stability ball for a few of the moves. However, if you don't have one, you can still do this workout. If you don't have a stability ball, you may want to have a chair, a couch, or a wall nearby to stabilize yourself. I will keep making pregnancy, workouts, yoga, and Pilates every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start by bringing our feet wide apart, toes and knees slightly pointed out. Let's take a big breath in, expanding into our ribs, and then exhale, releasing our arms out. Inhale, we can stretch to the side. Exhale, using your obliques, expanding out again. Moving with your own breath. Last one here, let's stay down and bring the hands up and we're going to exhale, inhale, and then exhale up. Using your obliques. Last one, good, we can bring our hands to our hips. We're gonna come up, plie down eight times, keeping your baby pulled in, hugging your baby. Last one, we can come down, pop your right heel up, and then we'll pulse here. Beautiful, release down, popping your other heel. Coming on up, let's bring our feet together into a first position. We can place our hands on our shoulders, shoulders roll down our back, elbows nice and high. Let's plie here now. We'll do eight plies. Gathering your core. Last one, now we're gonna go down for two, up for two. Beautiful. Squeezing at the top. Last one, good. Let's bring our heels up. And touching, we're in Pilates stance here, and now we'll plie here. Down two, up two. Down two, up two, beautiful. One more, we'll stay up. Let's extend our hands out and we're gonna rotate our palms back 
and then up again while we pulse. So we can come down, pulse, practicing our rotation. Good. Two more. Release. Let's shake it out. Let's stretch out our arms. They might be a little bit sore from yesterday. You can stretch one across. Taking some deep breaths. Let's stretch the other one. We reach one up and then turn your palm towards the back. Bend it reaching towards your back and then gently press on your elbow. You can also use your head and slightly look up. Beautiful release, switching to the other side. Keeping your ribs pulled in, your core protected. down shake it out making sure we keep our ribs pulled in again let's clasp our hands behind and then reach stretching through our chest you can slightly look up good let's clasp we can slightly bend our knees round out through our back the other way Take one more of those each. Rounding up. Release. Let's come back to our first position here. We can take our hands to our hips. Let's tondu out to the side, bend our standing leg, and we're gonna kick eight times up. Last one, beautiful. Extend your arm, oblique crunch. Exhale as they come together. Toes light on the ground. Good, coming back to first position. Tondu out. Bend, getting ready to lift, gathering your core. Last one, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Last one, good. Back to first position. Let's grab a sip of water. And if you have your ball, you can grab your ball as well. Let's grab our ball. We're gonna use our ball to stabilize us for this first one. We can come to first position. Let's plie, place the ball down. We're going to take the opposite arm as our forward leg to make sure that our hips are staying squared. And we're gonna keep our chest high and we're able to touch our ball because our knee is bent here. You could also use a chair, back of a couch, or just hang on to a wall if you don't have your ball. We're going to lift eight times behind, keeping your ribs pulled in, core is engaged.
Last one. Let's bring it up, pulse. Release down. We're gonna bend our back leg now, lifting in an attitude position. Last one, bring it up, pulse here. Beautiful, release down. You can switch to the other side. Lifting your chest, shoulders roll down your back, hugging your baby in with your core muscles, lift. Last one, bring it up, pulse. Release down, bend, lifting again. Last one, good. Lift a pulse here. Releasing down, beautiful. Come on up, let's lift our ball up. We're gonna come wide for sumo squat again. As we squat down, exhale, pull your belly in, lift the ball up, bring it back in front of you, beautiful. Last one, we're gonna stay down here. Let's reach up, lift it to the top corner of the room. Exhale, coming up again. Lift and reach the ball out. Exhale, coming up, lift. Last one. Let's come up, turn our feet parallel, we can widen our stance a little bit, keeping the ball out in front, shoulders roll down your back. Let's lunge laterally, back up, hips shoot back. Last one, good. We can step together. So if you have a wall available, we're gonna do squats on the wall. Alternatively, you can just do regular squats. So placing the ball on your back, you can walk your feet out slightly, roll the ball down a little bit, and then as you squat down, the ball will roll up, beautiful. And keep your hands on the ball if that feels more safe or take your hands up behind your head. We're gonna do one more, but stay down on this one. Stay, we're gonna hold, let's bring our hand to our belly. <sighs> Pull it in, holding here. Deep breaths into our side and back ribs. Shoulders stay relaxed. Beautiful, release, let's shake it out. 
So for the next part, you're gonna need a wall or a chair or a couch to stabilize yourself on. And if you don't have a ball, we're just gonna do the extensions without a ball. If you have your ball, we can take your ball in front, place your foot on top, spread your toes on your standing foot, engage your core, and then we're going to roll the ball out and in. Good. Last one on this side. Good, let's switch to the other side. Exhale, pulling your core in to switch your legs. If you have the balance, you can do it without the wall, but you don't wanna fall. So make sure you're being safe. Re-engaging your core. Exhale, extend. Last one, beautiful, release, exhale. Now we're gonna take the ball behind us. Again, you can do these extensions without the ball if you don't have one, or alternatively, you could put your leg on a chair behind you and then squat down with your ankle on a chair behind you. If you need the extra balance, you can place your hand on a wall again. We're gonna roll the ball back behind us, keeping your ribs pulled in, core engaged, lunging here. Last one. Good, switching to the other side. Lunge. Last one, good, release. Let's come sit on top of our ball now. We can do a couple of bounces here. Take some deep breaths. Let's move into some hip circles, lubricating your joints. Switching directions. Good. You bring your left hand up and fall over slightly through that hip. Let's get a nice stretch on this side. Exhale, switching to the other side. Ballooning out through your side rib, feeling a nice stretch. Exhale, coming up. Let's do some pelvic tilts here. We're gonna come forward, exhale, engage your core. 
and then tilt your tailbone the other way. And go side to side. Good, let's sit tall and place our hand on our belly. Let's take a big inhale in. Exhale out. Feeling your pelvic floor expand down and sort of bloom, relax as you inhale. And exhale, you can add a pelvic floor contraction in as you hug your baby in as well. Inhale. Relax, expand, exhale, pulling it in and up. Inhale, exhale, one more. Good. Let's take a sip of water and then we'll come it down on the ground next to our ball. We can come on our knees and then let's roll our ball out. If you don't have a ball, you can move in into child's pose here. Stretch, keeping length in our spine, deep breaths. We're gonna round out into a cat position now. Exhale, hug your baby in, around, ballooning through your back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, ballooning. Inhale, look up. Last one. Good. Let's take the ball out to one side or if you're in child's pose, you can just walk your hands over to one side. You can release down to your forearm if that's comfortable. Get a nice stretch through your shoulder. Take the ball to the other side. Hugging your baby in, not letting your belly flop out. Coming back up, we can take a lunge next to our ball, release forward, tuck your pelvis under. If you don't have a ball, you can just stay up on your knee or go down next to your ball. Or if you have your ball, you can release forward. Releasing through your hips, relaxing your pelvic floor. When you're ready, shifting to the other side. Pressing into your front foot, rolling back. We're gonna tuck the ball underneath our armpit now, and then we can roll ourselves on top. Let's bend our bottom leg to stabilize ourselves. You can keep your hand on the ball. We'll point our top foot, knee goes forward, engaging your core, hugging your baby in. Let's lift eight times. You can stay up now, flexing your foot. Let's swing it forward without rocking your hips. Point it back. Flex forward, point it back. Hips are very stable. We'll 
last one good let's bend that top leg we can take a quad stretch here relaxing through your glutes for a minute good extending out we'll take small circles here other direction Beautiful, release down. Let's stretch out through our glutes for a second before we switch to the other side. You can set up on the other side. Rolling yourself over your ball, stabilizing with your bottom leg. Bringing your hips though in line. Once you feel your balance and your ball isn't gonna roll up, you can keep your hand down or hand behind your ear. Ready, lift. Baby's pulling in. Let's bring it up, flex forward, swing it back, hips are stable. Last one, beautiful. Bring it in, quad stretch. Setting up one more time. We're gonna do some tiny circles. Other way. Beautiful, release down. You can stretch it out. So you can either sit on your ball or on a chair for your core stretch, or what also feels good is to put your ball against a wall. And you can release back, take your knees out in front of you, you and cross one over. Stretching here, sitting up tall. Rock back and forth a little, release through that hip. Switch to the other side. Rocking back and forth a little bit. release out. You can do a wide-legged forward fold. If you wanted to bring your ball in front of you, you can. You also don't need a ball for this one. Releasing forward or sitting tall. So roll your ball back and forth if that feels good. You can either relax side lying on the ground now or if you have your ball, you can lay over your ball and release through your back. So if you come to a squatting position, hold onto your ball so it doesn't roll out from under you. And then you can release yourself up onto your ball. And then relax over it. Make sure not to splay out your ribs. So we're still protecting our core, keeping your ribs pulled in. 
then you can release your arms out. We can also do a couple of big arm circles here. And then just let yourself flop out. Stay resting here or you can finish up with me slowly coming back down finding a comfortable seated position thank you so much for joining me you did amazing let me know what you thought of that pregnancy pilates workout in the comments below tomorrow for day five we have a full body strength workout of course, I will keep making pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this out with another pregnant mama friend. You can also grab my pelvic floor guide on pelvic floor exercises you can do daily to prepare for birth, my ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, or my pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian. I will link to the whole pregnancy, yoga, and workout playlist there, as well as my natural birth preparation list.